folks, I'm Kat Morris of Cat's Teas and Jewelry, and we're back in the studio today working on step five of the part of our jewelry that we preserve, paintings that we preserve under glass. So what I've done here is these are the pours that we've done recently, uh, part of one of our videos. And what I've done now is I've selected areas. So for instance, this area, I've taken a, a piece of glass that is about one inch by two inch, and I really liked this area but you can see part of the fun of what I do is taking the glass which you see I'm wearing gloves remember how we clean the glass in step two I don't want to get my finger grease back on the gloves so I'm on the uh, painting or the glass so I've actually cleaned the painting to take any silicone or anything else off of it finger grease anything off of it that got on there and now I'm going to move this glass around and part of the fun of it is just seeing what can I, what's, what shows up under the glass? What, what is showing up now that's interesting? And when I got to about somewhere in there, I really like um, just having maybe this corner of black and some of these little blue bloops, these little cells uh, showing right here, somewhere in there. You know, I might could move it in there. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? You know, to get some striads of some of those bubbles. And you know, it's kind of like, well, where do I where do I stop? Where do I where do I find it interesting? It was somewhere in here, which I'll readjust later. Some of these other areas, you know, this this is a piece of glass that will be suitable for either a very small pendant, but I will probably use it for some of my custom snaps. And I really like this area right there with the with the uh a metallic purple and the turquoise and so I just you know I just kind of slide it over in here until it seems to capture a piece of it that's interesting I have to be careful right there because I see a thin area of the paint I can't really grab that or it's gonna mess it up so I'm gonna try to grab a portion of it before I get there that I think would be really pretty in a snap so that's the same thing I've done here. What I really like here is this, this kind of uh, almost a snakeskin effect that happened with one of the paints kind of webbing over another one. And so I want to capture that. See, there's some areas right there and right there that are the plastic is showing through. So to avoid doing that, I'll use this teardrop, which kind of goes right between those spots, and I can capture... Uh, part of that snakeskin looking area. This one here, this rectangle, this is about a three quarter inch by inch and a half. And again, I really like the snakeskin area happening here. So, you know, I, and I like, I like this. So then what happens is I start moving the glass in to see what starts to capture it. And I kind of liked what was happening where the snake skin ends up kind of running through the middle and just a hint of the turquoise as being captured there and then this right here is had those little half inch uh glass that makes up our most popular kind of earring and i'll capture some of that snake skin under there and probably do it again right here to get earrings for one or some of those now right here i've gotten a, a one of these same size rectangles what i call a medium size and I really like these stripes that are happening there. It's really cool. And so, again, I was kind of sliding the glass around. and said, what's, what's going to be cool right here? And when I get somewhere here in the middle, capturing that turquoise and the black right there is just really a wow. But I don't want to push it too far and get up in here where I think it looks a little too funky. So if I've decided that I like this, then I've come over here and decided I want earrings to match this that capture the same kind of uh, turquoise electric blue at the bottom you know purples and blacks in the middle and then you know some of this electric blue at the top and so that's since it's a painting they cannot be exactly the same so what I try to do is just capture a part of the painting that is very similar to it so that you know if you bought this set you'd have three pieces of the same painting um, I suppose I could photograph it and duplicate it but it just wouldn't be the same so each one of these is going to be its own. Like here, you see I've captured, this is a large rectangle. It's one inch by two inch. And so I really like this turquoise with the black dots in it. So I've captured that with the electric purple. And then you see I've captured earrings that would be the same area. Now, I love this 
uh, metallic blue coming right through that black, but it doesn't really do well in anything but this long skinny rectangle where I can just grab, you know, like pieces of that electric blue just kind of pop right through this little skinny portion of glass that runs through there. So that is really part of the fun of it. And then you'll see over here on the uh, on the southwestern colors, the what we call the Emerald City colors. Once again, I would only had little areas I felt like were pleasing to the eye. So like this area right here, I love what's happening with the cells right there, but it's not a very big area. So I chose a small teardrop and I just want to capture, uh, the, I don't know, just a little bit of that uh, copper color it looks really cool to me. And do it, you know, do I want some of that black in there or not? So it just depends on where do I slide it, up here, a little bit that way. It's amazing how sliding just one, a, a teeny bit in one direction can make a huge difference. Now, I've not set down too many earrings, but I have to use a little bitty 10 millimeter glass, which is about three quarters of an inch. I've set that on some of these little cells that are popping up right in here so that I can get earrings that match some of these really interesting teardrops here. So there's, I don't really, I have a little bitty teardrop um, glass and I may try that in here as well. I'll have to clean some of that first. This will be a snap. So that is what happens after the pours. This is one of the most fun part of making this jewelry is sliding this glass around and you know, sink does anything interesting. Look at that, it looks like an evil eye kind of thing. It's really fascinating. My daughter would probably like that. And uh, anyway, so I'm just trying to capture something interesting for a snap up here. Is it right there? You know, maybe that's interesting. Maybe it's more interesting than I thought. So maybe I capture another one. Maybe I come up here and... So this, <clears throat> this is a really fun part, maybe almost like a Zen part of doing that is just moving the glass around and finding the areas. Sometimes there's no areas that look good. Usually there's something, but I have probably 20 sizes of glass and I can usually find something that captures uh, what looks like a little teeny piece of art, a little teeny composition that I think will look good in either a piece of snap jewelry, earrings, pendants, something. So that is step five of these, this part of our um, port acrylic jewelry.